Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and I'm gonna show you how to make this today in Design Space. It's so stinking cute. It is actually, and hopefully it will refocus in a second, it's a lollipop holder. So in between is the lollipop, it's front and back, it's super cute, um, and I love it. So let me make my face smaller and we can get to it. Um, before we go into Design Space though, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I appreciate all the support I can get. Okay. So this is why I like this design. One, it's very stable. We've got a bottom that holds the lollipop and it's double-sided. And you see on in the canvas right here, there's two little holes that we're gonna slice out. This is the original image. So with these two holes, we're basically sticking a string through it. The lollipop sits here and the stick goes through the hole, through the middle of the two holes and we're gonna tie a string. So the lollipop's gonna be secured here and it's going to be sitting on this strip. So it's actually, you can see, it's not falling out. It's very secure and super, super cute. The other thing that I like about it is, if you remember the traditional ones that we've seen, which I don't know how traditional it is. <laughs> it's probably only been a few years since someone, someone did it. But basically the idea was always, you know, that the lollipop, the round ball was the belly of something. So it's like a cute teddy bear and it's the belly or it's the head of, you know, it's the round head or something like, you know, something intentional where it's round and it makes sense for the lollipop to be there. But now we don't have to worry about it because it can be anything folded up and enclosed inside is the lollipop, which I absolutely love. So, all right, let's get started with that. Um, here is the image. These images are from Barely Art, so you can get them for free. They're not available just yet, but they will be releasing them this month, I believe. Um, we had them ahead of time because we're designing these fun projects for you guys. So, all right, uh, this is the actual one that I cut. So what I wanna do is we'll resize this, and I believe the ghost is 2.6 inches across and 2.9 tall. Okay, so that's about right. All right, so this is how we're gonna do it. The next thing is this bat, if you can kind of see it here, there's a stick, the lollipop stick's coming up, and I just added the bat because I thought it was cute. So the bat is three inches across. So make this three inches, and um, just imagine the stick coming through right here, and the bat's gonna be on top. This looks pretty good in size. Now, we are going to um, work on this design so that we poke those holes through because these two images were not designed to be a lollipop holder. <laughs> so we're gonna make tweaks to the design at this little rectangle right here and make it work for us. For the time being though, I'm gonna get rid of this bat. The bat was just there for size so that you know where to get it, um, but we're gonna delete it for now. All right, let's look at this little guy. What we're gonna do is, um, let's see. Let's add the two little holes where we're gonna slice out of them, okay? So let's go to shapes and bring in two little dots. The dots are 0.15 in diameter. Um, it's small, but I use like a twine and it fit through with no issues. All right, so I'm gonna put it somewhere there. I'm gonna duplicate it because we want it on the other side. And then I'm gonna zoom in. The important thing about this is I wanna make sure that the circles are not too close to the edge because I want them to be stable. I don't want it to rip through the cardstock. So I'm just gonna move this one over just a little bit more. It's a little bit close, closer to the edge than I want. And that looks good. So I'm gonna grab these two circles and I'm gonna weld it because I want it to be one item so that I can slice it out of other things. So I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna slice it out of the one side bow. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab um, this one and I'm gonna slice it out of this bow. Okay, so now my bow has that slice. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice this bow out of, um, actually I'm not. What I'm gonna do is, do you see how the ghost right now, the bow is freestanding. I'm actually going to weld um, should I do it now? Um, I'm gonna weld this white 
to the ghost. I want the, the whole white. That way I can get rid of this. I don't want this small piece. I want the bow to not be a freestanding item because I do want it to be secure. So I'm gonna weld it to the ghost. So let's do that. All right, but now we need um, the little dots to be out of the ghost. So I'm gonna grab this, hit the shift key, and grab that ghost and slice. So I've got the little hole. Now I'm gonna grab this one and slice it out of the ghost. All right, so now we've got these little guys. All right, let's see. Um, I'm gonna remove, let's, um, yeah, I can do that. I can move this out. I can remove this. Now the black needs to be, that little hole needs to be sliced out of the, out of the black. So I'm gonna grab the white hit the shift key, grab my black ghost and slice because this little guy is gonna be right here and I need that string to go through. I'm gonna do the same thing with these two. Oops, why won't it let me do it, let me see. All right, let's grab the pink ghost and slice that. Okay, so now I've got this. Everything sliced perfectly, right? Okay, so I can get rid of this. Now we're gonna add, I'm gonna make this smaller. Okay, now that we have all our pieces, what I wanna do is, um, I'm just gonna put this back. I'm gonna grab this whole thing and duplicate it. And I'm gonna group that, just so that it moves as one piece, okay? So now what I want to do is, this is going to sound crazy. I want to, um, let's also, you know what? I'm going to move this out. I'm going to group this. So now we've got two of them grouped together. Okay. So now I'm going to grab both of these and I'm going to align center. So they're totally centered. Um, one of these, I'm going to go to flip and I'm going to flip over vertically okay and I'm gonna move this down here like this okay let's grab let's make this little rectangle so let's um, grab a shape I'm gonna grab a square and we will unlock it as soon as it pops in and let's see what size did I make this So I think I made this 0.65. And let's make this a little bit smaller. Let's make this 1.5, Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab these two and we're gonna line, we're gonna line it up. Kind of want it in between right here. Line it up like this. This little guy, I'm gonna move down just a little bit more. And I'm just gonna grab these two and I'm gonna send, I'm gonna arrange or align and I'm gonna center it or not align it left there. So now it's lined up properly. Okay, that looks about right. So I'm gonna grab my white. And I'm gonna scroll down, grab my other white. Here, let me move my face out of the way. All right, let me start from the top. Here's my white, here's my square. I'm gonna grab my other white and I'm gonna weld it together. So here is my white. I've got my two layers of everything. That's gonna go in and that's it. Pretty easy, right? I mean, basically all you need to do is you need to slice the two holes wherever they may be. In this one, I did it in the bow because I thought it made sense. Um, but if there was no bow and it was just a ghost, I've seen a lot of them where it's just centered in the middle. So just, you know, right in the forehead. <laughs> and it's gonna have the little string coming out, it's tied and it's super cute. Um, so you need to slice out the two holes and then you need to basically weld 
a rectangle right here so that it holds the lollipop and that's it all right we're gonna do a few more because i think these are so cute i'm gonna do a little halloween line so i'm gonna do next one and um that way it will give you another chance to look at this let it kind of simmer and then it's gonna be so easy all right i will see you guys next time um check my instagram because then you'll see lots of pictures all right bye guys